Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here back with you with a new, uh, fail edition of a review here. Uh, we both we all know that the uh, FX and X units are coming out. So I would like to give you my point of view on what they are like. Now, this is pretty good because it gives HP and you always want. In the future, you're gonna want your attacker, even your attackers, to be tanky. But there are certain bosses that okay, we cover. This is a pretty good material, a little underrated. I think it's mainly because of the units attached to this. Retrospectively, it's really good on Trudeau and Trudeau will now. But when it came out in the JP set, this was terrible. Basically, you need to first get unlike how you would chain with his own person's guy. You basically need to have this in your rotation or back to be a top up little damage dealer. <coughs> now, again, I'm gonna mention this is not, not a mathematician. I don't know a whole lot about damage calculation. This is just me looking at abilities and seeing if they're actually viable in file format. I make these reviews, I'm mostly basing this on if this guy would be good enough for a go with the trial or not. But basing that off, having a, having a user long burst in rotation was just not a very good thing. And I just want to put this out here and early in the video. Jet was not, he didn't really have a very good showing on the JP side. It was for the for the event people some people have had him up, but then you know it's pretty much everybody on the max friend list they switch back to Hayu like immediately because he's so much easier to chain with him that the kid dreams are just not good. And they'll never be good. Especially on the JP side, maybe on the global side they'll be better because you can use macros to chain with. But considering this is a one hit and those, these percentages actually don't matter whatsoever. Next this out, it will, it will still not matter. A one hit move, you could have a high percentage, and it still wouldn't matter because you're not you're not using this guy as a finisher. This guy is not a finisher, he's a chainer. But having to use this in your rotation, I just not good already off the bat. He's already kind of uh, weaker. As the same, like, T just does where you add one to his attack, which is okay. never come into play, I don't think it'll ever matter. This does help him. I mean, it's only once per, once per turn, but it does help getting that line of burst because you need it. You literally need to have this information of, of damage, so your damage will be able. It varies. It will vary because of this. This is nice. He's still sufficient. Doesn't matter. But you're only using this if you don't MP and you don't have an MP pattern on your team right now. Useless. This is actually pretty insane. It actually helps him get into his rotation a lot better. I actually didn't know he had this. That's pretty good. Obviously, he has uh, an W skill, double cast. Trading, you're trading uh, your damage for the turn just to fill seven, six uh, line of burst crits, so that's just not good enough. <laughs> Probably not do this, unless you're in a time where the boss has like heavy mitigation up and you just have time to kill and you can just do this. <laughs> Having water resistance is insanely good. Useless. Demon killer and the beast killer will be the most. Um, bird killer really isn't. I can only think of on top of my hand a few instances where this will be. But the demon killer is the most important. 
there's a lot of humans in the game. <coughs> That's pretty good. Ignore if you do defense is us. Probably the best part. It'll do it'll do good damage. Now taking over a look at this. This is Divine Renation Bands. So this is actually gonna be a 75% water resistant debuff. I still don't like that kind of enough. It's definitely not good enough. I will tell you later why that's not good enough. The hit frames could trick the energy inside of a quick hit up to the global. It has the same style of backloaded damage like Caillou has for his. I still don't think it's good enough. If you need triple casting, but you don't have your lone burst stuff, you can use this. But your lone burst should be up with that 200% healthy fill pretty much all the time. Okay, now we're going to have his TMR equipped at all times, as most 7 stars. Some 7 stars you can get away with not having them equipped, but this is probably with lofty stats. Especially on the global side where TH is a little harder to get a hold of. Cloud's TMR doesn't stack on the global side. This is pretty good actually. The dick third self removing debuffs. You don't want your attacker being weaker. This is useless. And then these buffs. For the most part, when you have your new chainer, you probably want them to get to 120 to get all this, all the damage up. You don't, for like supports and things, you can probably have them at 110. Because usually they'll have only filler abilities for the last part. <coughs> well, that's it for him. I don't, I personally don't feel like this guy is UFC at all. I, I would personally just stay away. Keep your high, you keep your bait, keep your check, your last one. Don't pull for this guy, unless, like I understand, I am a huge Final Fantasy X fan, I am probably, probably one of my favorite games of all time, but I am not pulling for Jet, because everybody and their grandmother knows X-Star is coming in just a few months, and he's guaranteed to come because story events are the same, he'll be around April, so, the reason why he's getting this buff is because they Yumi knows that people know about X Star at this point. And I tried to entice you to pull for this back, but huge warning. Just I would just stay away. Just stay away. Keep your lab. I know it's a King Mog. And maybe you'll pull one from your pick and say you'll use your King Mog, but just don't chase it seven star. Don't chase it as Mog. Please don't. Just, I, don't I don't think it's worth you. Above all, don't not use your UOCs on him, please. Unless you're like the biggest Final Fantasy X fan, and I am, like I said, I am a huge FF10 fan, and I just don't think it's worth it. I don't, I don't need to hop in anyone's parade, but looking as you saw by his kit, it's just not good enough. If you have Hayu, you're more than capable of clearing trials without this guy. <coughs> Plus, Hayu has two ways of dealing damage. He has fire, and he also has lightning. I only has water. Water says only avenue damage. But the boss is weak because immune or absorbs water. And like what's the point? But if the boss is immune to fire, then you can just use lightning and I or vice versa. So let's just just pretend this guy doesn't exist. Uh, I'm gonna say non UFC, so please don't. Uh, moving on, the uh, Oran. A very very good breaker. In fact, he's still probably one of the best breakers on the JP side, even though he's relatively old at this point. <clears throat> he's probably still one of the best breakers because of how strong they like they made him super strong. I guess for a good reason they paid tribute to Lauren because he's such badass. This is very good for him or for anyone else. You can literally just put this on anyone who does a katana. This is insanely good. 
This, however, retrospectively again, when it came out, it was bad. But now it's really good because you put this on a true building unit and it's insanely good. Especially with this, I love this part, the 30% of me, that's insanely high. And you can just put more on it if you want, more attack. This little burst is basically what you are looking at for this whole kit. This whole kit's good, but this is what you would want to go up pretty much every turn or every other turn. <coughs> for especially for fire and other uh, elemental stuff. I'm not so sure this changes with anything, but when you hit this, it's a lot. If you're mapping this out, it's almost like an actual normal chaining. He does have W skill, looking at these, he has W skill, so he does have something like CG Lloyd's 7 star where you can use your single target breaks, 60 press as standard. <coughs> I would never, I would probably not use these because for the most part, harder fights you're not using this because bosses are immune to a spirit defense break. So it's, it's fine to use your W skill to use these two. The percentages don't matter because you're using only for the Probably never gonna use these unless you're facing like uh <coughs> most recently the uh Hulk of Story event where you could actually spirit and defense break boss or the bosses, then these would become insanely more useful. They're only they're only a single target. Full break. Always nice to have in uh bind if you <coughs> need to full break a boss for some reason. get to later why why you would want this attack not useful unless you're clearing or content or something. Very, very good passive because it's one hundred percent THC is already halfway there. <coughs> very good move. This is these are the reason why he's such a meta chainer or breaker, because you can also chain with your friend unit or your your own unit. Has 18 frames, and 18 frames will be the new thing going forward. You guys got to experience it on the global side first with Back to the Last Well, and now with Fate being a thing. Fate actually would be pretty good with this because I believe he has a viral in his kid that he can imbue himself. helpful for getting your love first up like I mentioned I want to have that up a lot and of course you will want to have your EMR cooked to him because why not okay, that creates his love first which is crucial for making him the meta unit that he is so you would always want to have that cooked even if you don't have a katana benefit from his TMR you, you want to equip it just please just Very good uh, first turn opening. The buffer team and also break at the first turn. <coughs> so he acts as a debuffer, chainer, and buffer in a sense. Which is insanely good. This is one of the main reasons why he's such a top tier damage dealer, breaker, anything. with your chainer so that both have triple cast of some kind and then you can use your AT chain moves with your axe star or whoever you're going to be using in the future. <laughs> Good. But unfortunately he does not have very many ways of getting triple cast. I think that's his only avenue of getting triple cast so unfortunately uh, yeah. you're going to have to use these triple casts efficiently. You're going to have to do the high damage damage dealing don't really matter, but it makes them a little stronger, and also makes some of his moves stronger. Do I think Goron is EOC-able? Hell yes. If you 
they have 20 UOCs, use them on this guy. I'm gonna be using my 20 UOCs immediately as soon as it's available to do so. I'm gonna be using UOC him as my new breaker. <coughs> I will say if you have 2B or Kryla, you can probably skip, skip this banner because the only reason you're pulling this is for Orin. You're not pulling this for tech. Please don't. Pulling this for Orin, and if you have a meta breaker or you have 7 star CT lit, you don't really need it. But if you're a mega super tryhard or like a diehard fan of Final Fantasy X like I am, then go for this man. Because there's no reason not to. Even on the JP side, he's still used in trial content, he's still used in trial clear videos. People still use him all the time, even if there's something better like the beach, uh, Hina and Liv, which is better than this, and kind of better than him, but in a way they're kind of, like their kids aren't the same. So they're kind of like neck and neck on being the best breaker, and this guy still doesn't have enhancements yet. He only gets stronger. These, what I expect from his enhancements are, he has to be higher, probably 65. Hopefully they don't do it. And they'll probably do his full break to be 60. Um, he has to be higher percentages, I'm sure. And they're probably going to change this to be able to give him another cooldown ability. He gets another way of getting triple cast because only having one avenue triple cast is probably his weakest, probably the weakness of this character. And you can argue, like, you, okay, you don't really need triple casting, but it's effective, it's like efficient to be able to chain with your friend or your own self, your own chainer. Which is the main, like, selling point of this character that you can buff, you can break, but you can also chain. And his damn his, his attack can go up to 2,000 or higher. As you see by his kit, he has multiple avenues of getting attacked. He has multiple, he has lots of TH in his kit, right off the bat. So yeah, do I think Warren is USC rule? Really yes. Like I said, yes. Do I think that is... UFC will no. Please do not use your UFCs on him. Even if you're like this, like a super, super tryhard jet fan, just if you really need to, I would say just pull like go to that up or something. Don't waste your UFCs on this guy. Because I don't hear this is coming in the far future. And they're gonna be way better than that will ever be. quickly run over this. We did talk about this, it won't matter, but I would say wait for the statistics on these units because honestly, cards in 2019 in this game, even with full side, are complete garbage. Unless you just, all you have is a buffer, it's fine, but PG Nicole is easily obtainable in many ways. Most people, if you can UOC him right now, you can literally just UOC him if you want. And CJ Nicole is a meta buffer, he's still, I used him recently in one of my other videos if you want to check that out. He's still a very strong unit. People argue that Eurasia is better, but I honestly feel like the light, flash dark, and water and ice resistances are way better than what Eurasia is. Buffs are, which I believe they're fire and earth or something. It's not as useful because fire resistance is so much easier to come by. This Lila type unit, we'll have to see, but <coughs> Faye is coming and Faye is an extremely strong dark AT chainer with a fist, so I don't know. And pretty much everybody on Reddit agrees that Chao is going to be a good magic team. However, this isn't really a counterpoint, but it's just a, a recommendation. There's so many other magic tanks in Global Sight to choose from compared to the 
GP side when there's barely any. There's barely any tanks on the GP side. <coughs> but on the global side, you have so many other ones like Barrel, Awaken Rain. You have Lulu. You have so many other options. You have White Knight Noel. So, um, I guess it's worth it if you have one child already. You can use your not getting another one. I'm pretty sure they won't fuck up the seven seven. Can't really fuck up a tank. Like it's so hard to fuck up a tank. Gun is unfortunately uh, just not gonna be that great. He's really stuck with very limited equipment. Stuck with very limited equipment. He is basically stuck with one chainy family unless they give him AT chaining. And also basically stuck with fire unless you give them something else. His <coughs> unlimited selection of equipment and the fact that he's already enhanced, I don't think he's gonna be a very good attacker moving forward. But I personally like him because he's a chokeful rider. I, I was thinking about you using him but I don't know, maybe not anymore. I might go for Lucian. He, he, has, he doesn't have enhancements yet. There's another whole year for him to get stronger. Um, I would personally wait, like most people have said, wait on the what the mixture system really is in game. Let's see, wait for the data. Because this part is what a lot of people are getting worried about. But I would personally just wait. And the rest we can just wait on. I might make a new video like talking about the mixture system and things. But for the most part, people know about it already. It's, it's, it's been talked about to death. So that's about it, I think, for my whale review. Um, not very good at these things, though. Not, I'm very anxious. I want to just point that out. You can tell, probably tell from my presentations that I'm very nervous. I'm not used to present, being a presenter of data or anything like that. I'm going to try to improve. As time goes on, I might get better, I might be better at doing these kind of things, but right now I'm just not that great at it. And I hope you guys can forgive me and continue to go down the journey with me. We continue to grow my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you guys always watching my videos, whatever you are. Better. Keep watching. I really appreciate it, I really do. Great. Peace out, guys. Uh, have a good day.